Yeah, there is still a very heavy police presence here outside the hospital in Lewiston as the shelter in place remains in effect and a search continues for that person of interest in these two separate shootings. This hospital is located about two miles away from each of those locations of the shootings. And the hospital did confirm that they are responding to a mass casualty incident, but they have not said how many people they are treating, what the extent of those injuries are, or even if people have died here overnight in the last several hours. Now, CNN is reporting that the death toll could be as high as 22 people killed and dozens more injured in the two shootings last Last night, police named 40 year old Robert Card as a person of interest in connection with the shootings. They took place at a bar and a bowling alley. A car that police had been looking for was found a few hours after the shootings in the nearby town of Lisbon and in the neighboring city of Auburn, right next to Lewiston. There is a family reunification center set up for people who are still searching for their loved ones. A significant amount of shock going on with people that were actually witnesses. Obviously, when I was bringing people in that were looking for their loved ones, there's fear, there's panic. Of course, there's worry, understandable. And But the people that were actually there tonight, um, it was what I didn't hear. It's they just, it's shock. It's shock. It's hard for me to explain. Now, police have stayed tight lipped overnight. One of the few things we are hearing from Lewiston police is they want to remind people there is a shelter in place in effect. They are asking people to stay home, not go out. Many school districts in this county have canceled classes for the day while that shelter in place remains in effect because law enforcement agencies are still searching for that person of interest. We'll be here in Maine throughout the morning, continuing to update you as we learn more.